Ariel Hawani in New York City alongside Chris Kamozi, who exactly one week ago was on the outside looking in. On Saturday, he faces Jacare Souza for the second time in the co-main event of UFC on Fox 15. Isn't that amazing? What were you doing exactly one week ago? Uh, one week ago, I was just enjoying life, golfing, hanging out with the family, uh, working. You know, I, I own my own business, so on top of all that, just hanging out. What kind of business? Uh, I own Performance MMA, so it's an uh, online retail store and brick and mortar. We sell fitness gear, MMA stuff, boxing, CrossFit, any of that stuff. And then the news is reported on Friday that Yoel Romero is out. What do you do? How do you find out? And then what's your plan of attack? Uh, there was no plan of attack, really. I, I saw in the underground that he was out, and uh, people were talking about how they didn't have a replacement. So I, I happened to post on MixedMartialArts.com and say, hey, you know, I'd fight him again if I had the chance. Well, apparently Joe Silva reads the underground because uh, Saturday morning I rolled over, had a text on my phone that said, were you serious about fighting Jacare again? So I said, absolutely. That's it. You didn't even have to ask for it. No, I woke up. Manager, I, nothing. No, I literally rolled over in bed, checked my phone from the morning, and uh, there it was. It's amazing. A little known fact about Joe Silva, he goes on the underground like 50 times a day. Did you know that beforehand? Like, were you hoping he'd see it? Uh, you know, I, I didn't know if he'd see it or, or what, but uh, I guess I, I kind of thought he might read it because sometimes things reported on the underground come out, you know, the next day. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good news source. And you were 100% serious. It wasn't like you were trying to be Mr. Tough Guy. You were down to take that fight, right? Yeah, I don't say things I don't mean. I meant sure. it 100%. I said it right after I fought him the first time. I said, man, I'd love to rematch him. How much did you weigh when you wrote that? About 202. Not too bad, right? No, I mean, that's pretty light. I usually leave town at 200 pounds, which is exactly what I did. And uh, everything was just on point already. I was already training six days a week and in shape. I just fought March 6th. Right. So you weren't, you know, fat and sitting on the couch. You would consider yourself in pretty good shape or great shape right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I still run three times a week. I train every day. And, uh, you know, they, they asked me if I wanted to catch weight and what weight I would do it at. And I said, no catch weight. I want to do it at 185. Wow. He's a big guy. I don't want him to be any bigger. That's true. But does a part of you say, like, man, last time, what was it, like 10 days or so notice? This time it's six days. You know, do you kind of wish that you can just get a full camp to fight this guy? Yeah, it'd be nice, yeah. but, you know, opportunities rise, so right. you can't complain about that. When you're given a great opportunity, you got to take it. Does this sort of feel like deja vu all over again for you? It's very rare to see a guy fight another guy two times, same circumstances almost. Very rare. Deja vu with a different outcome. Yes. Um, you know, mean, the buildup. Yeah. Yeah, the buildup on this is a little bit more. You know, this is nice. The UFC is really stepping up with the, the media stuff and everything, and the, the show is amazing. And I, I can see changes now that I didn't see, you know, when I was uh, fighting for the UFC before. And I didn't have to travel to Brazil for this one, so that's nice. It wasn't all that long ago that you were in the UFC. Um, they released you, and you went out. You won two in a row. You even won a belt, right, on, on the regional scene. Accurate? Inaccurate? Uh, no, it's accurate. Oh, you don't seem that excited about the belt. Belts only count if it's the UFC belt. Okay. Do you even have the belt? Uh, the gym has the belt. Okay. I don't keep them. But what was it like being on the outside looking in? You know, you, you were part of the organization. You had a nice run there until you met him, and, and then you had to work your way back up. You're on the smaller shows. What was that like for you mentally? Outside the UFC sucks. You know, it's, it's hard to find places to pay. There are places, but, you know, a lot of these shows that you see that are on TV are the shows that pay the least. So. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, I didn't sign any contracts because I refuse to fight for, for money unless it's worth it. Um, you know, I don't want somebody else to make all the money off of me and sell myself short. So the, the biggest part of when Joe Silva contacted me, he said, do you have any contractual obligations? And lucky enough, I'm not signed to anybody because we kept it that way. Part of the deal is it that, you know, this is short notice and all, but you'll get at least another shot in the UFC if things don't go your way? Yeah, the UFC gave me a new four-fight contract, and they realized short notice is always tough, and, and Joe said, you're back. Wow, well, congratulations on that. That's amazing. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited. Did you think that you'd be back when you left? Did you know in the back of your mind you'd be back some way, somehow? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I know I belong here. Um, this is my home. The, the fights I had outside of here were, they, you know, they're tough guys, but I felt like I was on another level. I didn't take one punch in the two fights that I had outside of here. How do you explain the losing streak? that led to the release from the UFC. I, I saw somewhere you said maybe you got a little too comfortable in there. How do you explain it? 
Uh, I just needed to change some things up. You know, I started working a lot more on wrestling, going to my weaker points. I hired a new strength and conditioning coach, uh, Lauren Landau, who's, you know, he's world renowned for what he does. And my speed is up now. I'm stronger. And we're not even lifting a lot of weights. A lot of it's just body weight stuff that's uh, functional movement. So I'm training the right way now. I think all together my camp at Factory X is just 10 times better. I've got so many new training partners pushing me in the gym. And, uh, Everything kind of came together and, and to this moment, you know, this big buildup. How many times do you think you've seen that first fight against him? Uh, maybe twice. That's it? Yeah. I don't like to go back and watch it. I know what I did wrong, and that's it. That's all. I don't need to, to dwell on the video too much. You know, it eats at the back of my mind, which makes me hungry to get him again. But uh, uh, other than watching it over and over again, I don't need to. What did you do wrong? I got a little over anxious instead of being patient. I know when I, uh, when I went to escape the knee on belly, I, instead of pushing his knee, I threw my arm up over and he caught the, the arm triangle. That's his move. Are you interested in moral victories here? Like taking him to the third round, a decision, short notice. Are, are you interested in that or are you only looking for the win? I mean, of course you want to win, but you get what I'm saying? Sometimes there are moral victories out there, but sometimes people don't like those. Yeah, the moral victory for me would be winning. Okay. You know, a win's a win. Otherwise, it's just a loss on your record. It doesn't matter how well you did. And if you're counting how well you did against somebody, then maybe you don't belong. And then how about some of the feedback you received? I saw your brother go on Twitter. You went on yeah. Twitter a little bit. I mean, what was the reaction that you got? I mean, it's amazing that people would almost hate on you for this. Of course, you're going to take an opportunity like this. So I, I was a little puzzled about that. I can understand why some people would be upset if Romero wasn't in the fight. They were looking forward to it. But what was some of the feedback you received? I think my brother said it great. Yeah. Uh, you know, the people that are complaining about them giving me this fight are the same people that would complain about them scrapping the fight. And when it comes down to it, we're fighters, you know, you got to be ready to fight. People that are complaining about me taking it should contact their favorite fighter and ask why they didn't take it. I wasn't the only guy offered the fight. I was the only guy to say yes. Wow. Who else was offered? Do you know? Um, I don't, but I know that there were several. Wow. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Welcome back. You. Looking forward to the fight. Good luck. Thanks a lot.